All right, um, this is um, a video for those of you who had your eyes open back in 1998. Uh, I'm not sure if it was uh, General Westmoreland or it was uh, uh, John C. Hammer or it was, uh, I'm, I'm really not sure of who it was and I can't find the video online which is what's really making it so I have to say something about this um because I, I have this memory that just it, it does not fucking quit and um a lot of you know this to be true uh anyways back in the day and I've made other videos about this but this is important and it pertains to now um back in the day I was sitting there basically you know getting ready to go to school one day or some at I, I was either getting ready to go to school or I was getting going outside to play with my dog or something and I kind of just stopped because there was the um, the speech to new cadets at West Point or the speech to graduating cadets at West Point I'm not sure which it was specifically pertaining to the methods of new warfare now, conventional warfare is that, you know, you get all your troops on your troop ships and then you move them across the ocean and you take them to where they need to be and whatnot, at least for America, okay, and, and for any country trying to attack America likewise. Well... And I know it sounds nuts because, yeah, who's going to fucking attack America? Da, 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 right, whatever. That's the whole reason why it works. This general said that the most likely course of action of any invasion on American soil from a belligerent, company, uh, a belligerent country would be... Um, for them to send their special forces as tourists and as um, refugees and once they are in the United States they would migrate to their specific task locations procure weaponry however they do so, weapons through making their own, purchasing them, purchasing them illicitly, what have you. And then they would take certain specific key infrastructure before the United States has a chance to respond. Once that key infrastructure has been taken, then that belligerent country would exercise standard procedure to move general forces into place. Now the reason why I'm saying this is again how many times have we heard about the Chinese coming over the border just coming to our country immigrating here whatever how many times have we heard about the Middle East folks coming across the border, whether legally or illegally? And for, just to be fair, I'm not pointing out that every single one of them is. I'm saying that there's a good chance that a lot of them are. The side fact of the matter is, is that you could be blinded by your emotions when you're not willing to look at the bigger picture. That doesn't mean don't have emotions. You need to have an emotional center so you don't fall into evil. But at the end of the day, you got to look at things objectively. And objectively speaking, you don't leave China unless the CCP allows it. You don't leave China unless China 
let you go. This is what keeps on giving me this bother. Like every single time I turn around, it's like, look guys, they're here. Yeah, we're seeing, you know, folks who are dual citizenship Mexican coming across the border, but that's normal. That That's always fucking happened. That's happened for decades. But there is footage. It's no longer just a, a speculation or an observation by me. There is footage on the internet, or at least there was, of United States Border Patrol taking custody of Chinese individuals coming across the California border. Yours truly was down on the California border the last time I made that video. Again, you cannot be fooled by your emotions in this. This is something to look at objectively. You do not leave China without explicit permission to leave the country. Every single Chinese citizen, every single able-bodied Chinese citizen is part of their military in one shape or form or another. Every single one of them has military training. Every single one of them has to do certain amount of time in the military. I know we've heard the mess and spiel of, oh, well, that's not the case anymore for China. No. It is. It's always been. That's actually one of their operational parameters. That's why they cut, they boast the million man army. It's the same reason that North Korea boasts a million man army. Every single one of their citizens has to be a soldier. Sailor, Marine, intelligence operative, you name it. They have to do something for the uh, party. And um, in the grand scheme of things, this means that they are perfectly entrenched in our country to completely delete our military. This is why I sit there and I tout the militia so much. This is why I tell people, don't give up your guns no matter fucking what. If they come to take your guns, th you fight them. You fight them. Now, I'm not just, I'm not saying, oh yeah, you fight them with your guns. It's not going to fucking work out for you. You need to be there to be able to fight. You hit them where it hurts. Legislation, their pocketbook. They're recruiting because when your own government is so corrupt that they are in the pockets of a belligerent nation, they are no longer your government. It behooves an American to fight intelligently, not viciously all the time, but intelligently. And I do so quote from my little pocket constitution here on education. Educating the people. A well-instructed people alone can be permanently a free people. James Madison. A primary object should be the education of our youth in the science of government. 
in a republic, what species of knowledge can be equally important? And what duty more pressing than communicating it to those who are to be the future guardians of the liberties of this country? That's General George Washington. We're sorry, he was a president at that point in time. Anyways, um, I know of no safe depositor of the ultimate powers of a society, but the people themselves, and if we think them not enlightened enough to exercise their control with a wholesome discretion, the remedy is not to take it from them, but to inform their discretion by education. This is the true corrective of abuses of constitutional power. Thomas Jefferson. Another one from Thomas Jefferson. Say, whether peace is preserved by giving energy to the government or information to the people, this last is most certain and most legitimate engine of government. Educate and inform the whole mass of the people. Enable them to see it is in their interests to preserve peace and order, that they will preserve them. And it requires no very high degree of education to convince them of this. They are their only sure reliance for the preservation of our liberty. Finally, another by Thomas Jefferson. This guy was a freaking powerhouse, I'm telling you. The good sense of the people will always be found to be the best army. They may be led astray for a moment, but will soon correct themselves. Education, ladies and gentlemen, educate yourselves because what is coming is a lot worse than anyone could ever tell you on the internet. If you refuse to go with it blindly, they will find a way to kill you, to crush you, or to keep you from speaking. To keep you from being. So I will quote my own quote here that I spoke in a court of law to dispel the beliefs of a specific judge who was a, a bit of a lefty before I talked to him about it. Your Honor, heaven and hell are right here on earth. It is what you make of it. By your own deeds and actions, by your own will and your own virtue. So I'm just going to say it this way. Arm yourselves, armor yourselves. Get yourselves right with whatever your creator is. I don't care. If your creator is your mama and your daddy, get fucking right with them. I don't give a shit if you believe in God or not. This country is only preserved by the faithful. Religion is not faith. It needs faith but it is not faith. Our country is only preserved by the faithful. So, I want you to take and look into yourselves, do some introspection. I don't care what your political leanings are. Because trust me, we don't fucking agree. 
I guarantee you we don't agree. Right, left, it doesn't matter. I'm an independent. We don't agree. What we can agree on is liberty. The right to make our own choices. The right to go our own way. Choose our own path. We can all agree on that. Because if I tell you what to do, the response I expect from you is, fuck you, watch me. Not some bullshit of, oh yeah, sure, that's a good idea. Or, oh yeah, sure, I'll just do whatever you say, sir. No. Think about it first. If I'm saying good sense to you, then good. Be on that level. If I'm not, most valuable weapon, the only weapon, is your brain. For those of you who have eyes to see and ears to hear, look around you. What is going on in our nation is not normal. It is not righteous. And it certainly isn't American. In the words of the general that I watched all those years ago speak that speech, the only preservation against a force so cunning is an equally armed people. Your arms are here. Your tools are your guns, your knives, your bows, your axes, your tools are hammers, clubs, bayonets, body armor. They're tools. They are material implements. Nothing can replace your weapon. So, um, I thought it was General Westmoreland. I'm probably wrong about that. I don't know anymore. It has been so many years, and at the time, I was on psychotropic medications because my family thought I was I was psychotic. Crazy. Because I was saying, no, 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 this is real. This is something we need to pay attention to. Don't look away. Don't turn the channel. No, no, no. I'm turning it back. That's wrong. You don't do that. Listen to these people. They're telling you the truth. And nobody listened. In fact, they threw me in a fucking psych ward for saying it. Well, who's crazy now? This is what I mean by have a memory, gentlemen. This is what I mean by never forget. I'm not talking about the towers. I'm talking about everything that has happened every little bit that tells you what is going on today. Because again, only an educated and faithful populace can keep it. What is it? Our liberty. <laughs>